Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to be doing a really chilled out video. Just going to talk to you guys. I asked you if you had any questions on my Insta story. So I have a bunch of questions to answer. Um, and just generally talking about how I've been feeling lately. Um, and doing makeup at the same time, I guess. So yeah, I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done like a makeup look video in a while. I miss doing my Instagram tutorials as well. But anyways, let's just jump straight into the video. Obviously, I have to do my post notification shout out. And I think today's one is going to go to Max Fury. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. You guys have been so nice about my skin, although I've, to me it looks kind of the same. I mean, it has improved, but to me, I think it's because I've been wearing less makeup, you know. Like, I, every day I used to wear, like, full coverage makeup, whilst these days, some most days, I just wear concealer. So I think that's been helping a bit. Um, oh, and also, I'm a bit sick right now. Not that sick, I just got a sore throat. But anyways, if you guys want to get a post notification shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, let me know when you've done so in the comments below, or you can just leave a nice comment. Oh, let's jump into the video. Right here, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna... Tie my hair up. Oh, I'm wearing my uni t-shirt and my black... Um, my robe today because it, it, it's it's a chilled video i realized i didn't have a, a jumper but it's like i can't bother as always we're gonna do brows first i've got a bunch of goodies from benefit they my nose is itchy they invited me to an event and they literally spo spoiled me like the event was so nice it was my first event first kind of like breakfast event and it, I really prefer those ones because you can really get to meet the team meet other bloggers like more one-to-one -one and talk, actually talk to them because I feel like when you go to more party kind of events it's really like clicky and everyone's in their groups they don't really like it's hard to actually go make conversation with someone you don't really know but when you're sat next to someone at a dinner table or breakfast table and you just talk to the person like you can actually like get to know them a bit more and see like I don't know who they are as a person I literally sneeze like 10 times a day I don't know what it is but I've never had this before anyways as I was saying I've met I've met a bunch of like really nice bloggers and it, it was just really refreshing the team was so lovely so right now I'm using the brow Bravo conditioning primer what does this do so this is what it is it says conditions brows instantly look fuller thicker and healthier bonus boost wear overnight so it conditions and works it's magic while you sleep wear under your brow makeup to enhance color and extend wear so it comes in a little brush thing like this and this you have to twist it nothing's coming out yet though oh maybe i put too much on there but let's see I think my favourite brow stuff from them is the 24 hour 24 hour brow setter for sure. That's the best brow gel ever. Um, the goof proof, no, uh, I kind of like goof proof, but I prefer the um, precisely my brow. I think that's how you say it. I swear by that one. And I get like shade five or six. It really depends. Six is quite dark, but then five, you really see like each individual individual hair. They also like wax my brows and everything so it's like so clean when I fill in my brows. Okay, this is my first time using this so I don't know what to say about it yet but we'll see. I'll, like, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to use my Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 6. It's kind of got like a diamond shape applicator I would say. And yeah, I'm just going to fill in my brows with this. Gonna let it dry. But anyways, um, if you guys follow my sister, my, my sister has a channel by the way, I'll link her channel in the info box, but if you watched her videos you will know that we recently lost our grandma, so my mum's mum, and she was living in Mauritius, it was very sudden, and honestly like I had so many mixed emotions because I haven't seen my grandma for years. Obviously, we would FaceTime her and everything. And but when I was in France, I would go see her like every day, if not every week at least. 
my sister was always with her they would always watch their like spanish shows and stuff i'm sad that i never went before to go see her you know um it's it's like f obviously when she passed away i didn't I didn't know how to feel, I didn't know how to process it, I was really sad obviously but I had a lot of regret, I had a lot of regret, obviously my family was like, I had a lot of regret because I didn't go see her after the last time I went to go see her, I was with her and that was years ago and I could have easily gone to Mauritius to go spend time with her and I had, I'm just like why didn't I go, why didn't we go see her, spend time with her? And now it's just too late you know she's not here anymore and i had a lot of that feeling obviously it was even more it was harder because normally when i go through sadness i have my lily there who to comfort me and who's always there my lily my our dog and she wasn't there because she just passed away as well suddenly well we, we was able to say goodbye to lily but do you know what i mean like although my grandma lived a really long life i think she was like 83 Am I going to take ages? It's been 14 minutes and I'm still doing my brows. And I think for, I think, it's been a while now. It's been almost two months. And I think for the past couple months, I've really felt like, not myself. I've just been in this weird time warp, just working, working, working. I don't even want to go out. Obviously now I feel much better. Like... It was like I wasn't in my happy hyper mood that I usually am in. And I was in such a negative mindset. Obviously she did not want that. And it's been difficult, like... It's been difficult to process that I will never see her again. Maybe when I'm no longer here we will meet again, but it's just it's hard to process that and I really do miss her I really wished I went to go see her um, I also had this dream about my grandma like every time someone passes away I had the same thing with my great aunt which is my grandma's it was my grandma's last sister and she passed away last year and i had a, one dream of her she was sitting at the edge of my at the foot of my bed and it was so real and it was like we were talking then when my grandma passed away honestly like oh. and then i had a dream about her and obviously i've been having all this regret i had a dream about her and literally it was so real and she it was like she was talking to me she was like honestly don't worry just be happy and it was like a full-on conversation with her and i remember everything and i remember i was crying in my sleep because i was so sad i was like just think about it i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna cry and i remember i woke up i ran straight to my mom and i told her all about it and she was like don't worry like don't be sad I just think like you should spend the most time with your loved ones because you never know what's going to happen. I haven't even been in that Christmas spirit until like recently, like I'm starting to feel it. My sister is trying to be more positive, it's been really hard for her as well. And my mum and it's just been so down in our household. That's how it's been feeling and recent, and we're starting to get into like back into you know real life I guess. So yeah, if you've realised that I've been a bit lowish in my previous videos, I guess that's why. I'm not my hyper self. I feel like just recently I'm starting to get into it. Obviously when I do want to continue filming because I love it and it takes my mind off things. I love making these videos. So instead of me laying in my bed depressed and crying, I prefer to film and be productive and do something that I love, that I enjoy doing. And that's why I continue to film. And I did have my breaks. like. I have been posting much, um, I've been posting less regularly, is that even a saying? I'm going to take some Tarte Shape Tape and put dollop on my head. And the reason I haven't been talking about it is because it's been hard. I didn't know how to feel about all of this. 
and I had obviously mixed emotions. I wasn't able to say goodbye to her. I was really just down. But honestly, my grandma, what made it harder is like my grandma was, honestly, she is the most kind-hearted soul you could ever meet honestly she would do anything for you no matter what you did she would still be there for you i like you cannot say one bad thing about my grandma like you cannot she was always the first to help people people will go to her to do prayers and you know just help them out talk to her seek comfort guidance advice and she was always the person in the family that everyone will go to to just get help to be honest and she's helped so many people she's had an effect on so many people whether you believe it or not i think spirituality comes in it she was such a spiritual religious person and um i believe that she helped a lot of people it just depends on the person i guess even though some people did wrong things she would still take them in their household and help them it just shows how a non-judgmental kind-hearted person she was and you know she's like she's a human being she had her days but she was so nice and i just miss her laugh her, just our times in her house because she used to live in france and that's when we would always be with her um just miss like the breakfast in the morning that smell and her prayers, ceremonies that we would do together. I'm not gonna cry. Let's go into eyeshadow, okay? My brows are done. <laughs> I'm gonna use the new Revolution Creative Palette. It looks like this and it's super colorful. So I'm really tempted to use like these three colors and the blue. Let's see what I come up with. I'll put some pictures. I kind of, I'm sad because I never took, when I went to my grandma, I was in a phase where I would never take pictures. Obviously it's been years, I miss her. I remember one day I was so scared because I was having problems in school. I did not want to go to school, like my tummy was turning, I did not want to go, I didn't want to face them people, I didn't want to go at all and my mum was like you need to go you can't not go to school and i remember at like five o'clock in the morning i called her and i literally was like i don't want to go to school and then she was like don't worry i'll do a prayer for you go be strong and she's just she's just always been there she's always been there when i needed her i don't want this to be a sad video obviously i i just have this is just gonna be a good memory of my grandma so yeah, that's how I've been feeling lately, guys. Okay, I'm gonna take some. I think I'm gonna take some of the dark purple. We're just gonna go all in. I don't care. Don't know where this is gonna go. coming out more blue than purple but that's okay I'm gonna wing it out a little bit I mean you can't say it's not pigmented but I do have to say when she passed away I instantly started I had to start my new job and it, it really took my mind off things and kept me busy you know I'm gonna take the shade trendsetter and I'll try and blend some of this yellow I just want to talk to you about my grandma because she was an amazing person and I wanted to put that out there for the world to know and just have that as a memory of her because she helped so many people and she definitely left her mark here on this on this planet you see and i feel like she will always be in our hearts i'm getting really cringe on you lot but it's true like she was such i wish you guys could have met her like every single one of you i wish you could have met her because she was so sweet and i put a video of her with the dog actually she was so lovely Mama? Hey, Mama. 
My camera cut, but anyways, I'm gonna go into the questions. I don't know if that the camera got that bit. Um, and the first one is from Jessna who asked, How am I? And honestly, I'm doing better, like day by day, it's getting better. I feel mo more motivated to film on the weekends. Gosh, this actually pigmented, but yeah, I'm doing good day by day I think time heals everything this is pissing me off now what is this thing doing right I'm now taking the shade color which is a bright pink I think I'm gonna put this right below the yellow like blend it into that purple I need to get the James Charles palette I think I need to get my hands on it but it keeps sending out and I don't have time to stay on the internet and buy stuff Right, the next question is, how did you lose weight? <sighs> to be honest, I'm kind of stagnating right now and I haven't lost as much as I would like to. I still have a big belly that I can hide very well. I eat a lot and to be honest, I just keep eat stuff m in moderation and I was working out. I haven't been working out at all lately because obviously I've been working and it's just hard to have the energy to do it. And I know that's a shit excuse, but I do want to start running after work so yeah I'm gonna try and get into it soon and hopefully make a video I haven't been doing anything special and I think that's what's good about my I think it depends on the person like every individual person will lose weight in a different way I will share how I've been doing it and hopefully make a video soon but I just need to get back into it I don't think it's right for me to do a video right now when I've been slacking you know so Pam Kumar asked coffee or tea that is a hard one. I honestly don't know. Just taking some of the purple, blending that slightly. So to answer your question, I think I'm gonna have to say tea because coffee makes your breath stink. Sorry, I have to be real with you guys. I always have to carry gum with me. And although it does keep you awake and I can't live without it, I think tea is just healthier and I've been loving my green tea lately, so I'm just gonna say tea, okay. How old are you? I'm actually 23. I'm gonna be 24 next year. I feel old. Not saying that 20 above 24 is old, but you know, I just feel like I'm getting old, you know, because I don't know. I don't know. How is your skin so clean? I mean, what do you do? I mean, I have shared my skincare routine and I think I just stay consistent and I do it every day. I'd never sleep with my makeup on. I'm just gonna use some of my Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand and try to do cut crease. How do you gain the confidence to start YouTube and edit? I think it's just to start. Just tell yourselves that you really want to do this. You love whatever kind of domain or kind of theme you want to do. Like if you love makeup, just do a makeup channel. If you love gaming, do a gaming channel. Just tell yourself how much you love it and you want to share it with other people. I think that's what helped me and if you look at my first video, it was really like weird and I was talking weird. So you're gonna go through a phase. I mean, some people just naturally just start really well, but then some, a lot of people start off a bit funny and they talk funny, not like they usually do, cause it's nerve wracking and that's normal. So I would just say, just start and do it. And then the confidence comes slowly afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Inspired and just like use that to set the concealer. Guys, it's so bright. We've kind of lost the pink and the yellow a bit, but we're gonna try and fix that. Are you gonna do more covers soon? <sighs> That's the situation, isn't it? Honestly. I love that you guys loved my first one and I it just makes me so happy because I know like let's be real I'm not the best singer out there I could maybe be better if I practice more which I'm trying to do I did post another one recently and took it down look that just made me go funny now but 
I took it down because yeah it was getting a lot of dislikes I know that's not a good reason to take a video down but when you work on a video and you just don't see a positive reaction I guess it just doesn't want you it doesn't make you want to keep it up there to be honest and I think it's very it was a very like country music and not everyone that's not everyone's cup of tea my singing is not going to be everyone's cup of tea but I just I don't know I just wanted to take it down I'm trying to like practice more and I will try to do more but it's hard because it's like you're opening criticism to something that's so personal like for me at least it's so personal I've always hid me singing like even for my family they were kind of shocked as well when I posted the video I mean I've always been singing in the house but not fully and it, it was it's weird it's something new that I'm discovering and being not discovering I had it always in me but it's like sharing it is difficult and I want to do more but I just feel like I need more practice and I'm just working on that I guess but if you guys want me to do more covers, let me know what songs you want me to do, because... Yeah, just let me know, just let me know. So let's put some eyeliner. Okay, so this is the Shring Eyeliner by The Balm. I'm not too happy with this look, to be honest. But we're gonna keep going. Sometimes you just need to keep doing it, and then it looks fine at the end. Gosh, I haven't done eyeliner in so long. Right, what's the next question? What was your favourite part about uni? I think it's meeting my friends, to be honest. I've met such amazing people at uni. And I think that's it. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't a great fan of uni. I think anyone knows that. Gosh, I'm concentrating too much. need a makeup wipe and I'm pretty sure it's been stolen from me let's clean this up a bit now let me see what questions you guys asked me I really want to get the um, James Charles palette now because I feel like this look isn't my favorite you know I feel like the colors don't blend that well they're pigmented but I feel like it could do better I could do better I'm gonna use my Maybelline Falsies push-up angel mascara because when you put eyeliner and it dries it kind of goes funny so it just combs through and puts a little bit of mascara I'm gonna put lashes so I mean you have to put lashes with this look Okay, so I think the lashes I'm going to wear today are from Primer Lashes in Margarita. They're super fluffy and big. They definitely need shaping. This is better. I don't like that. Do you know what? I'm just going to use my favourite ones. I'm going to use my Coco Lashes in a more. These are like my favourite lashes at the moment. They just fit on perfectly and they just they look bomb. When will you come to France? I honestly don't know. I have no idea when I'm gonna go to France. Hopefully soon, because you know, France is just next door. It's kind of next door. But yeah, I don't know. But obviously if I'm going, I'll let you guys know. I don't know if I would ever do, because another question was if I would do a meet and greet in France. I feel like I need to do a meet and greet in London first. Um, but I don't know when the opportunity arises. I would love to do that one day, like meet you guys. I think the best time I ever had was at the Mauritian festival where I got to meet so many of you guys and it was just so nice like just meeting you and being able to give you like little giveaways and stuff. This is random but now that you finish uni are you making YouTube Insta full time or will you be going back to uni? No to both of them. I'm actually working another full time job. I do YouTube on the side. Instagram, you know, it's a bit in a blur at the moment, but I want to get back into it. It's hard to do all of it and then work full time. I'm just going to pop some of my Embryo Lease moisturizer, which is almost dead. I'm going to actually take this Maybelline Super Stay Multi Use 
foundation stick and I believe this one's in the shade caramel it's much darker this is what it looks like uh, this is my first time using this then I'm gonna take some of my bare minerals bare pro performance wear liquid foundation I'm considered ugly by my family and others because of my dark skin. I tried to ignore it, but it's hard. I can't see the rest of your question. But it's hard. I feel ugly. That is honestly, that, that breaks my heart. Like, I mean, we all have our days where we feel like really shit. I mean, I know I have them. Where I'm just like, what on earth is going on? Um, but to be felt ugly because of other people... I know the pressure of being having to be lighter skin like I, I didn't get it as bad in my family but it was surrounded by us and you know I, I know that when I was younger I would have preferred to be lighter skin but um, I just feel like you just have to come to a point where you love yourself not because of what other people are thinking or saying about you you just need to be confident in your own skin just learn to love yourself and I think that's the best advice I can give you and then whatever other people say it just brushes off you like you just don't give a shit um, that's all I have to say I mean if it's that bad like because of your family maybe sit down and talk to them I would talk to my mum if she made me feel ugly because I was too dark so yeah oh I lost my lash and I found it let me put my lash in This is why I love these lashes, they just feel like a gem. I'm going to use some of my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX11. I've been loving this more and more, to be honest. Like, I do this, like, every day. I just put a little bit, maybe not as much as I did right now. And then I take my Beauty Blender and just blend it all out a lot of you said that you love this concealer I think for me it's like the shade I guess the finish is nice it's seeing better on my skin with a beauty blender at least I still think it's a tad bit too light and can go borderline ashy I'm not careful with what powder I use, etc. But it's nice, it's nice. My camera's gonna cut in a bit. But yeah, that's the advice I would give to you. I think learn to love yourself, and then every, anything that comes aside of that will just be nothing to you because you are happy in your skin. I know it's easier said than done, but oh, why am I looking ashy? But it does really help. Um, it's normal to find, have days where you just feel shit. It's normal, so. And trust me, everyone has those days. No matter how beautiful and perfect you are, we all have those days, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna take some powder. Where's my powder? I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. Got look like this. I'm gonna just set it. How tall are you? I think I'm like one meter and 66 centimeters. I don't know how much that is exactly in feet. I'm just gonna take some of the bronzer and put it on the sides of my nose. I think I'm gonna go with the bright color. I'm gonna go in with territory and buff that into my lash line what do you do as a full-time job 
I think I've got this question so many times, but I basically, I basically work in risk in investment banking. Yeah, it's a good experience and I'm so grateful that I got it and I'm just trying to make the most of it. Why are you so beautiful, girl? Why are you so beautiful? We're all so beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you, Taminak. Hope I said that right. What would you prefer? Release your makeup collection or clothing collection? I think to start off, I maybe clothing collection. I would love to have. I'm trying to work on my own merch. It's not going to come anytime soon. But yeah, I know I'm going to have my own merch for sure. I'm just going to put some of my EX1 blush in Pretty in Peach. I can't tell you how much I've been obsessed with blusher. And then for highlight, we're going to go for Ofra. Ofra. We're going to go for Ofra in Glow Goals. This is a new Nikki Tutorials collection one. Oh, do you guys see that? Oh. For lips, we're gonna go for Huda Beauty Trendsetter. And we can't forget mascara on the lower lashes. I just realized I forgot to brush off the excess powder. Let's just do that first. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pop some gloss to finish this off. I mean, I could leave it like this, but I feel this gloss, this, this gloss is needed. So we're gonna use some of the Revolution Lip Topper in Luxurious. And that is the look. Alright guys, I think this is the end of the video. This is the final look. Does it look nice? Does it look nice? My final thoughts on a palette, I feel like it's not the best out there. I mean, it's pretty and it, you know, it, it did this look, but it was a bit hard to work with. You can't say that the colours aren't pigmented, but the more you blend out them, the more you blend them out, the more washed out they get, especially like the pink and the yellow. Um, the purple is nice but it comes out more blue than anything else and it was really hard to like soften it out and blend it but that's those are just my thoughts i just want to give you guys a huge thank you for always just being there and supporting me um and just being so lovely and nice and just just being just amazing okay thank you so much for just like supporting this channel and always watching my videos um let me know what other types you want to see i'm going to do cooking videos and i'm going to try and do a skit <sighs> It'll probably be up for like January time because those are hard. I'm going to stop blabbering guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.